Nobody can stand their teammates on Apex anymore. We know how matchmaking is, but what if I told you that you could be the type of player that your teammates would love to have on their team? Having that Kobe in the clutch factor can definitely be one of the most fun parts of the game. And when you're the reason that your team is able to stay alive in the end, it just feels that much sweeter. Especially for me, because my aim assist I'm about is to all, say, you better you know, kill him. So we just out here trying to be vibing and surviving, but you know that's a lot easier said than done when it comes to Apex Legends, especially when Revenant's not making noise. And the crazy thing is, one thing I find myself doing a lot on this game is playing Combat Medic, which is ironic, because I, I can't stand Lifeline and I would not use it. Fuck. No fucking way. Uh, Help is on the way here! Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fights like this is where I tell people all the time, you don't have to have flashy movement and zip jumps and all of the other crazy stuff to use movement to win fights just use the terrain and use it to your advantage and move around walls jump around walls basically anytime you can use cover please use it As you can see, practicing in the range is definitely starting to pay off. Those hip fires and just my overall aim in general, I'm starting to get a lot better at this considering, you know, I already said it, but I ain't got no point six. Here. Huh? How does he see me? Now, one thing I focus on a lot on this game, and you should too, is making yourself hard to kill. One of the main ways I see people die in this game a lot is standing still in a spot in the open, just staring down the barrel at an enemy, not strafing, not doing anything that will help them avoid bullets and somehow expecting to live. That's not how that works in this game and y'all gotta get over that. Now, one of the main things about keeping yourself on your pivot and constantly moving around is it helps you learn how to avoid off angles that you could get shot from and constantly keep moving in order to make yourself a lot harder of a target for somebody to swing around and hit just easily. Now, y'all might find this a little bit ironic considering I'm from Philly, but I'm so fucking bad with this gun. Especially with how hard it is to find a gun in this game, there's a lot of situations in this drone where I'll just be like, man, we gotta put the guns down because somebody about to get their ass beat. Round one. Fight! I'm about to say, bro, I beat the shit out of him. Like, it's no way y'all can't kill him. Why would you even come try to push this? How did that grenade not kill? If that was me, that grenade would have killed me. However, when you find yourself in situations where you get in third party, sometimes you just gotta be a slippery squirrel and get the hell out of there with your teammates.
yo, I'm really like the GOAT when it comes to banner recovery. Like, I don't give a fuck what nobody says. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! Stupid ass. Like, that was stupid to try. That was so dumb to try. That was so dumb to try. I don't give a fuck if y'all got that dumb ass lifeline, bro. Fuck you. Oh, no, 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 fuck. <laughs> no way, that was a lucky shot. I did that by accident, Doc Team. You wasn't supposed to do that. Shit. And here you see the duality of men. I can have plays that have me cracking the fuck up and end up being ecstatic, and then a game or two later. Ha <laughs> ha, low ass fuck. Get that low ass shit out of here. Low ass. I love playing Apex. I love playing Apex Legends. This shit is so fun. I'm just Eeyore in this drone, wondering why I decided to pick up a controller and play Apex Legends today. <laughs> you would think I got my aim assist on for that shit. Up top, so uh, any approach we make is definitely gonna be uh, I'm well aware. <laughs> Dumbass, fuck you. Pussy. 